hey welcome back to my channel and today i'm just going to share with you guys some youtube video ideas that you can do for your channel me being a smaller youtube youtuber i do be needing like ideas to do videos like sometimes i feel like i'm just stuck and i don't know what else to do as far as like content so you can do a room tour okay this is something that i am i am actually considering doing myself um i see a lot of videos that are room tours or room transformations that really blow up and they become really big so i mean i guess people just like knowing exactly what's going on and being able to see how you live you know how your room looks especially if they can you know when you do videos they can only see the background of your room so they probably can see little portions of your room but they can't see your entire room and they would really like to see it based off you know just your decor or they just want to see what you have next one is a closet tour okay so a lot of people like to see a closet to see how you have everything organized to see how your clothes are your shoes your bags your purses and things like that so a closet tour would be good apartment tours so a lot of people love apartment tours so if you can do like an apartment tour and then like in the description box you can add details on where you got your items from let people go to youtube for decor ideas because they're about to move out or they just want to redecorate their place get ready with me's are always good no matter where you're going even if you just want to get ready to you know go out to eat get ready to go on go out on a date get ready for the first day of college get ready to just do nothing people love get ready with me's i'm more of a fan of the chit chat get ready with me's but i think those are easier once you kind of build your channel up because you know you feel a bigger connection with your subscribers once you actually gain subscribers on your page okay you can do lit playlists so if you have you know different songs that you have in your playlist on your apple iphone or even if you don't have iphone if you just have a playlist that you would like to share with everybody and let them know what you listen to when you get lit whether you're gonna go out get dressed and you have those songs you can play those songs but the only thing with the lit playlist in the you can do it in my feelings playlist the only thing about those two is it's very likely that they'll get copyrighted but if you're a smaller channel um sometimes it's okay to go ahead and take that risk because that one playlist that you drop whether it's a lit playlist or in my feelings playlist may blow up and then you can gain subscribers and become monetized do unboxings whether you get a new ring light whether you get a new phone um whether you get new makeup new hair what's on my iphone these are so so big everybody just want to see what's in your phone see what apps you use you know and just see how everything is set up in your phone how you organize your phone so what's on my iphone is always a good thing and honestly it's not necessarily you know i really think you shouldn't think about what iphone you have because if you really want to trick the system just say what's on my iphone don't put what iPhone you have. If you have an iPhone 5 or you have an iPhone 6 or you have an iPhone 7, then hey boo, who cares? I would say these are already for YouTubers that, is that, that are established more so, but okay, I'm still gonna say it. Okay, so if you're like a brand ambassador for a company or um, anything big like that, and, you're, and you know that it's a lot of people that will be interested in doing what you do. So just say if you're a brand ambassador, you can make a video on how to become a brand ambassador. Um, and I think that'd be good because a lot of people look into stuff like that nowadays, they wanna be brand ambassadors. So if you can share your journey and how you became a brand ambassador, look, they gonna tune in and they gonna watch it. Okay, so you can do a video on how to become a social influencer. This is something very, very big. A lot of people love to be social influencers. So you can, just like the brand ambassador, you can kind of give your journey, give your details, give your input on what you think will be best for them to do in order to become a social influencer. So that's, <clears throat> that's one too now, honey. Who knows? It may blow up. You never know. It's a game <laughs> at the end of the day. Okay, you can do your morning routine so you can share with them, okay, once you get up out the bed, what do you do to get ready to start your day? You know, brush your teeth, wash your face, shower, do you, you know, make you some hot tea? What what do you eat for breakfast? Like things like that. If you incorporate that into your morning routine, then that'll be a good YouTube video idea as well. Then you can do a night routine. I actually have one of these on my channel that I did. And I think I'm gonna redo it in like a few months because I was so tired when I did it. But anyway, you can do a night routine and just go through what you do at nighttime before you get in the bed and go to sleep. So vlogs are always good, whether it's like your birthday vlog or um, it's a shopping vlog. I have done nail vlogs. So people love to see like you going to the nail shop and the finished product of you getting your nails done. 
Same thing with hair. You can do a hair vlog, do a photo shoot vlog. If you want to have a photo shoot and you want people to see behind the scenes of that, I actually have one of those on my page. So, you know, people just like this feel like they're with you. And, you know, like it's just a sense of them feeling like they're actually there. So, that's the big thing about YouTube that I've noticed. Um, you can do hair reviews. I have a lot of hair reviews on my page because I'm big on, I just really started getting on wigs. So hair reviews are good. You can give details on where you got the hair, how much it costs, you know, the length of the hair, do you prefer this company? You know, you can just give details on the hair that you ordered and you can do a hair install. So if you are, if you know how to do your own hair and you know how to install your own frontals, your own six by six closures, whatever it may be, then you can do one of those on your page would be great because I love watching those because I do not know how to install a frontal. I don't wear frontals. I don't, I would love to try them, but I don't know how to install one. So those are something that I really search and I watch because I want to see somebody else do their hair because you see, I don't know how to do it. So. Watching somebody else do it, it's just, I don't know. It just gives you that sense of satisfaction. I don't know. I don't know. Even though you're not doing it, it's like you're there. You know, so. Yeah, that's a good one too. Um, makeup routine. So you can do your everyday makeup routine. How you like to do your makeup. Um, people love to see different people do their makeup because everybody do their makeup differently so that's a good one as well you can do an eyebrow tutorial because everybody do their eyebrows differently they use different products um they would like to know what products you use and they would like to see how it looks on you so the eyebrow tutorial will be good as well um you can do reaction videos so if it's a tv show or something that's out that a lot of people are talking about or if it's a youtube another youtube video that dropped and a lot of people is talking about it and you want to do a reaction video to that video you can because people love to see other people's reaction to stuff okay so that'll be good as well um i plan on doing a reaction video but i just i just don't know when because i don't know what i'm gonna do it on so i just have to think about it a little bit more um lookbooks are really good as well these are something that i actually watch on youtube all the time i love to see people put their outfits together and just see how they look you know and um this is something that i am going to do as well this video is kind of going to help me too because i'm noting what i want to do for my channel too but at the same time i'm giving ideas as well so the look books are really good but only suggestion i would make about that is stay within the season so if you're doing a lookbook and it's like the spring summertime it shouldn't be a winter lookbook because nobody really want to nobody's really checking for the winter time during the spring and the summer so I would say make sure you align your lookbooks with the season. Okay, so if it's spring summertime, make sure your lookbook is spring summer time theme. When it's fashion hauls, try on hauls. Okay, um, these are very very popular because people love to see how clothes look on people before they order them because you know how online shopping can be. You think it looks good, but you really don't know how it's gonna look in person. So providing fashion try on hauls will let people see um, what you think of the product before they buy it okay and that's the end goal they want to make sure that whatever they're about to buy is in good condition it fits right and they want to know what size they may need so fashion trial hauls are always good i always suggest actually getting up and trying on the clothes because they want to see how the clothes look on you compared to you just sitting there and just holding the clothes like yeah this is actually really nice like no get up and show them how it looks I promise it'll be more interactive and you more than likely will get more views on that. Okay, you can do collections. You can share, you can do a YouTube video on your collections, whether it be your heels collection, your shoes collection, your game collection, your sweater collection, <laughs> like any type of collection you have, it'll be a good idea to make a YouTube video on that and bring, you know, the viewers in and let them see what you collect and how it looks and, you know, just, allow them to get to know you more is really what it is natural hairstyles these videos do very very great very very great okay so if you have natural hair and or um it can even be perm hair it really doesn't matter if you know how to do hairstyles and you want to share those i think that's good how to videos on hair how to do a sleek ponytail how to do a high ponytail um it's just different things like that people love to see i know i watch those videos a lot even though i'm 
I really won't do anything like that with my hair, but I still like seeing other people do it. So yeah, so if you're good at that stuff and you do your own hair and you lay your baby hairs and you make them all nice and pretty, share it, make a video on that. You can do story times, any type of story time, anything interesting, anything that you feel comfortable sharing with your viewers. I suggest doing a story time because that way they can feel like they're really, really getting some personal information from you and you letting loose and you're really just breaking behind your shell and just letting you be yourself. And I think that's big on, big on YouTube. You have to be yourself and just share them the story. Okay? Things happen. Whether you got cheated on, whether you cheated, whether, you know, you stole something or, you know, an interesting story time about yourself, okay? I think that'd be good. I'll watch it. <laughs> you can do a video on how you edit your pictures. A lot of people need ideas on how to edit their pictures. They take pictures and they don't know what to do with them to make them look even better. So if you do a video on how you edit your pictures, I think that would be very, very good because they can know exactly how you get those bomb pictures that you have. Share it, sharing is caring. How I edit my videos is a good one as well. So, you know, you can actually share with people how you edit your videos, whether you use iMovie, whether you use um, Pocket Video, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But whatever app you use to edit your videos, you just share that and show them how you actually go through the process of editing your videos because a lot of people are considering starting a YouTube channel and they like to see these types of videos before they start so they can actually know what the plan is. And you can actually do a video like this one, tips on starting a YouTube channel because you never know, you may have some ideas that other people have not really thought of. So, you know, you can share those tips with other YouTubers so they can be able to let content out so they can bring in viewers. And you know, I just think YouTube is, it's not all about yourself. You gotta be willing to help other people too succeed because you can't be all about yourself and think you're gonna succeed. No, this is not gonna work. So yeah, so if you have some tips um, on videos that you can make, so if you have some tips on YouTube videos, basically YouTube video ideas that you can share, then I would say go ahead and make a video on that as well. So I have seen like, and I like to watch the rate my outfit videos and I'm kind of incorporating a lot of stuff in this video that I like to see because at the end of the day, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm still a viewer and I watch videos on YouTube all the time. So I kind of like to put myself in a viewer's shoes and say, okay, what do I like to see? Okay, so the rate my outfits, whether you get your boyfriend, whether you get your best friend, whether you get your mom, whether you get your dad, to rate your outfits are very, very interesting. I love watching those. I really like the ones where the parents rate the outfits. I like those better than the boyfriends and the girlfriends, but I don't know. I just think parents, they're just funny. Like, it's, it's just funny because the stuff they say about the outfit is just like off the wall so i think those are funny so rate my outfits are good videos for the channel um you can do any type of challenges whether it be spicy noodle challenges um 24 hour challenges um you know i ran a mile for a week and this is what happened and you know you kind of just challenging yourself in a different way and you're letting them know the results so i kind of gave two in that one so you can do regular challenges like spicy noodle challenges but then you can do something where you like I ran a mile for a week, or I worked out for 30 days, or I waist trained for 30 days, and here's my results. So yeah, like results videos what is basically what I'm trying to say. They are very good. Like results videos are very, very good because people love to see how stuff works. Whether it's hair products, um, you know, I see a lot of people do like the rice water, the wild hair growth oil, and stuff like that. So if you share with them your experience with it, I think it'll be good. Hey, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share some YouTube ideas um, with you guys. I know we're quarantined in the house right now, and you, you may just need some tips. You want to drop a whole bunch of videos, but you don't know exactly how to drop them or what to have the content be about, and I totally understand that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.